Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. Anytime you're going to be out at the range, you know it's going to be a great day. Once again, I'm out at Tallgrass Shooting Sports. This is kind of my home away from home on the weekends, and uh, I'm really appreciative of Mike and Lisa for allowing me to come out here and shoot. So thanks a lot, guys. I sure do appreciate it. But this time, we're going to be talking about accuracy from the RH-10 in comparison to the Palmetto State Armory PSAK-47 GF3. Uh, I wanted to see what the accuracy would do between a cold hammer forged barrel and then just a standard steel barrel, a 4150, I think, steel barrel from the GF3. So we've got the primary arms, one to six by 24 scope on here with a RS regulate mount. And I'm going to swap this to the GF3 and um, fire five rounds on each rifle to see what the accuracy does. Now in between each rifle, I will have to recite this optic in because what I have found shooting off camera is this zero to this rifle is about six inches to the right of what the GF3 is shooting. So I will have to do some stuff off camera, just so you guys know, but I wanna to try to keep it as consistent as possible. So I've got a target down range. It's a Caldwell Insight target at 100 yards. Uh, we're gonna fire five rounds at it from the RH-10, and then we're gonna switch over to the GF3, get it sighted in, give it a rest, and then fire five rounds of that. Uh, I'll have the camera down at the target, and then I'll have a camera behind me as well, so you guys can see all the action from the different angles. So with that being said, let's get into it and let's see what happens. All right, guys, so I've got the primary arms one to six by 24 sighted in for the GF3. I've got a Caldwell InSight target downrange at 100 yards, so let's see what happens with the PSA.
All right, guys, so there's the accuracy between the RH10 and the GF3, and let's talk about the results a little bit. First and foremost is I fired six rounds from the GF3, and I'm gonna point out that sixth round here in just a second. I apologize for that. I didn't realize that I had a round already chambered when I put the five round magazine in, so that's my bad. All right, so let's look at the RH10 real quick. This is the accuracy from them on the Caldwell uh, sight in target. These targets are actually pretty nice because you can peel these away and slap it onto the target as like a sticker that you're shooting at. Um, and then the orange and white contrast was really nice for me to be able to pick them up at 100 yards. So I did like that. With that being said, the extreme spread on this is going to be eight and a quarter inches. I'll get a close up picture for you guys so you can see that. But eight and a quarter inches, I was expecting the Cold Hammer Forge barrel to be a little bit more accurate than that, but it is what it is. And this is kind of an testament to my shooting abilities. Your results may vary. <laughs> With that being said, here is the GF3 on the same type of target. Um, this is round number six, so I'm excluding that round. And if we do exclude that round, we have a spread of five and three quarter inches. So it would appear that the American-made AK is more accurate than the budget Comblock version. Now, is that a apples to apples comparison? No, probably not. Uh, could there be more accuracy in this rifle than what I could do? Yeah, absolutely. I've seen Robski shoot fairly accurate, um, shoot tighter groups than what I was able to do. Uh, so he's probably a better shooter than I am. But uh, I will say that it was a fun experiment to say the least to see if the American version would be any better than the com block and it is so good job on PSA on making a very competitive budget rifle and we will uh, see what happens when the next AK comes in because I have a new AK on the way I'm super excited to see how that matches up with the RH10 and the GF3. So more to follow, and I hope you guys stick around to see that coming up here pretty soon. That being said, that's really all I got this time. Thanks so much for swinging by. Let me know what you guys think about this accuracy test. Did I do it right? Were there mistakes made? If there were mistakes made, what were they? Please feel free to sound off in the comment section down below. Naturally, I wanna improve the content for you guys. And if there were mistakes, let me know, and I will do my best to uh, improve those in the, in the future. So we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you later. As always, freedom through strength. I'm walking around the bench for a high five. Here we go. See you guys later. Have a great week.